Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Hoverify browser extension. This is a suite of tools created for website developers. Um, it's a paid extension for browsers. It works on Chrome, Firefox, Brave, and Edge. Uh, and it's a extension that saves me hours of time and tons of money. So it's something that I highly recommend to you. Hopefully this video will show you why. You also notice it's one of the only two extensions on my browser. Hoverify and ACF tools. Um, it's really the only extension that you need as a website developer. Before I take a look at the features and the, the actual product itself, I want to talk about pricing. And the reason I'm talking about pricing first is because right now, at the time of recording this video, it's a $30 lifetime deal. It looks to me, and I'm not sure, it looks to me like they are going to change that $30 lifetime deal to $30 per year. Would I pay $30 a year for this extension if I got the updates within that year, as well as three activations on browsers like we get for the lifetime deal? Yes, I 100% would. Hopefully this video will show you why it's worth that. But if you can pick it up for $30 for lifetime access, that's something that you definitely want to do. There's a countdown timer with all zeros on it, so I'm assuming they're probably going to move it today or tomorrow. If you're interested in getting this plugin, get it now. When I click the purchase button, it's still only $30. So pick it up, link in the description, as well as a discount code in the description of this video. So go check it out. All right, let's talk about this plugin, what it does, how it saves me time, how I use it in my day-to-day -day workflow. I use this for one, debugging my own sites, and two, doing research on other websites to see how they're made. I can also pull code and CSS out of websites that I like and then use it in my own site. So um, when you click on the Hoverify extension, you get access to the whole suite of tools. And there are six main categories of tool. And then under each tool, there are additional features. So we have inspect, color eyedropper, assets, responsive, debug, and built with. The inspect tool is the one I use the most, and it's probably the core feature of this plugin. When we go to inspect, um, we essentially have created or went into a supercharged version of the standard browser developer tools. And what I mean by that is that it's going to do the same thing that an inspect element um, and looking at it under that de developer tool panel would do by giving us the HTML of the element um, and the CSS. But it also gives me the text, the colors, the length, the height, and the ability to copy it to copy all the code and copy it to CodePen. And I can use this to just understand how a website's built. So I know this is a link element. I know this is a list element. I know this is an H1 and then it's wrapped in a div and this is an image. I know the size of the image. I know the um, file size of the image. I know a lot of things from this panel of tools and I can open up multiple ones and pull them around to understand how a website's built. Um, I really like using this to extract CSS code that I like and then quickly use it in other websites and quickly iterate on my own website. I can open it in CodePen and get all that information just pulled right into the CodePen. Um, and you'll see that it, it follows the same overall styling. We have a linear gradient. Um, all we need to do is kind of pull in the, uh, pull in the, actual, uh, the, the actual font. Um, with that being said, that's kind of the core feature that I use this for. I really like using it to understand how my site and other sites are built. However, that's not the only feature that the inspect suite or, or the inspect portion of the suite of tools comes with. We can also kind of set up guides to understand how things are laid out on the website. So we can align various things based on that. Um, we can see how the entire website is made um, overall. And this is great to find things that are overflowing and causing layout issues. We can understand the fonts that are used on this website. So we'll see that all these various aspects of the website have this by default applied to it. Um, we can even edit live on the website the various content within. So I can change this to, or I can change this to, or if it wants to work for me, I can turn it on and then I can change the actual content within just to see how other words would work within the website. So 
I can see, oh, does this fit where I want it to fit? How does this work? Can I delete this element? What happens if I do delete this element? There are a lot of things that I can do here and just understand how the website works and really make a lot of quick edits and just do it in real time. So that's kind of how the inspector tools work. The additional features are um, writing custom CSS for yourself, writing custom JavaScript for yourself, and then searching for specific components within the website. As you can see, this is a system that can save you a lot of time. Um, I think it's a lot better in many situations than opening the developer tools and trying to compare and contrast the HTML to all of the code. However, in, in some situations, browser dev tools are better and easier to use. So I kind of use both of these interchangeably, um, but it's a great suite of inspection tools that make your life a lot easier. Something that I use even more than the inspect tools with Hoverify is the color eyedropper. And I know that the color eyedropper comes with Firefox. It's a very handy utility. I just copy paste various hex codes of colors. And this does the same thing, but it comes with a little bit more pizzazz. It gives you the ability to pick a color, but it also gives you the ability to see all the colors used within the website. And the colors that we pick can be saved on the screen and copied as RGB or a hex code, which is very helpful. And all the colors that I pick on the website are then uh, stored in my color eyedropper. So I can choose a bunch of different colors, store them in the color eyedropper. This is ever present on the browser so I can hop into a new website and just copy the RGB code or copy the hex code um, and then use it in another website. So I could just paste it here and there you go. So that's a really helpful color eyedropper tool. I use that all the time. Another thing that is a time-saving tool that minimizes the number of extensions I need in my browser is the assets tool. And this allows me to see all assets used within the website, images, SVGs, and videos. I can sort them. But the main thing here is that I can save all the assets into a zip folder. And this helps when trying to migrate pages from old websites to new websites. And previously I was using a, another browser extension to do this, which had a little more features. I could filter down various aspects of the website, but it was just another extension. And now the assets tool is here and I can quickly just save all components, um, view all the uh, assets within the website. So these are all, um, videos, here are a bunch of SVGs, and here are all the images in the site. I can sort by name, sort by size, um, do all that, and then just save everything on the website, upload it into a new website, and use it there. So that's a very helpful asset tool, kind of replaces the need for another extension. We can also view this website in a responsive view, so I can take a look at it on a Nexus, Galaxy, Pixel, Pixel, uh, iPhone, all of that. It's helpful. I really like it. Um, it's a great way to quickly look at kind of how the website shows on these screen sizes and aspect ratios. With that being said, I prefer using something like Lambda Test where I use a real device rather than these um, just browser screen sizes. But it's a very quick way to see kind of how things collapse on your own website as well as other websites. So helpful. Um, not the most powerful thing, but I'm not expecting a complete emulation tool um, within my browser. So if you need one, check out Lambda Test. I really enjoy that tool. The other features here are the debug tool and the built with tool. And these, well, the debug tool is something I believe is new. I haven't really seen it um, in this extension in the past month, but it's a new feature that allows us to um, clear the cache view the meta tags, and view all the links on the website. I really like this links tool because I can find a link on my website, just copy paste it into a new um, page or, or code or whatever I'm doing here. Um, just a very quick and helpful little debug panel. And um, this is a new feature and the developer is continuously adding new features that actually are really helpful and save me a lot of time as a developer. So I, I believe um, this to be a really good actively developed product, um, which is why I would be paying $30 a year, but luckily I'm on the lifetime deal and hopefully you guys can hop on that too before 
that kind of closes up. The final feature here is a quick built with um, to understand the technologies and stack that the website's using. Um, it's kind of limited to the built with free features, but you're not paying for built with. Um, it just quickly will show you the hosting. So I can see that this is using a digital ocean droplet um, from Germany. Here are the IP. Here is the IP address. Um, here's the analytics and tracking that it's using. Additional widgets. Crisp is that chat. Opening this link will open Crisp in a new window. So if I'm trying to understand how a competitor's website's built and what widgets it's using, I can just quickly open things up. It's built with Next.js. It uses these additional tools. Um, it's using Paddle for payment processing. Um, here's a YouTube embed. And uh, here are just all the additional features that the website has and is built with. Really quick, um, very helpful for doing kind of basic stack research on other websites. So that is what this tool is. Right now it's available for a $30 lifetime deal. There's a discount code in the description of this video. There's also an affiliate link in the description of this video, which is helpful to me. It is used by 60,000 developers uh, or 6,000 developers. I am happily one of them. I've replaced, I believe, three extensions with this singular extension. I use it pretty much every single day um, and I have it installed on my Chrome browser, my Firefox browser here, my Firefox dev browser on my Windows laptop. Um, I have it installed in all three places. Uh, licensing is really easy and right now it's a $30 deal. If it becomes a $30 per year deal, in my opinion, it is still definitely worth it. It saves you a ton of time. Um, it saves you from having to pay for online web services. It saves you from having to use poorly coded extensions that take more time than they're worth. Um, and it's something that you should check out if you are an active web developer or somebody who actively tries to understand how websites are built for your job. Um, check out the link in the description below. Hopefully this video is helpful. If it was, leave a like, subscribe, do all that fun YouTube stuff.